Hi, I'm Babe Baring, Technical Director of TriStar, and welcome to another Tech Talk. Today we're talking about Rulon 142, this lovely blue-green material with the sparkly finish. It is a very popular material, especially in the machine tool industry. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, where it came from and where it's used. Uh, the Rulon 142 is about a 25-year-old material, uh, originally developed at Dixon Industries in the 80s. Um, it was really developed to be a competitive product to uh, a material that's been around uh, for a longer time, and that's the Turkite B material from uh, the WS Shamban Company, now Trelleborg. Um, the Rulon 142 came along as a result of uh, Dixon wanting to improve on the properties of the material trying to evaluate ways to reduce friction, to improve compressive strength, uh, many of the things that uh, we had heard about from the field as problems. And so we spent over a year working on developing just the right combination of uh, the particle size of the bronze, the particle size of the PTFE, the makeup of the bronze, uh, the percentage of, of uh, pigment that's used because with this product especially, the pigment is very critical to the wear properties of the material. So a lot of time went into developing the material and then developing a process to make it so that we don't have the issues like uh, sometimes occur where we have a lot of camber in the material. Uh, so when you're trying to cut thin strips or narrow strips, you'll get a big bow in it. So extra steps were taken to be sure that the material was made in such a way that uh, we eliminate the camber and also the edge wave. So the Turkite B material finally had a worthy op opponent in the Rulon 142. And it's now sold all over the world. It's a very popular material, a uh, very competitive material. And um, we have found over the years that uh, not only do, did we meet our expectations for the, the product development, but we exceeded it in many ways. Um, now the, Turk, the uh, Rulon 142 is used on machine tool guideways and if you're familiar at all with uh, what that means on a machine tool you've got a table that is sliding back and forth or up and down sometimes in a slanted condition um, and these are the axes of that machine. Where these products are used is underneath the table on the dynamic table they're, they're on the dynamic surface and they just simply slide back and forth in the ways. Um, the real reason for this material is not so much a full-time bearing, if you will, because machine tools have hydraulic systems that are constantly uh, pumping pressurized oil into the guideways to prevent any problems and to keep the friction low. But the 142 is really there as an insurance policy to save a very expensive machine tool should there be a failure of the lubrication system you don't want metal to metal contact to occur because that will cost a fortune to try and repair. So the 142 is really there to help in dry conditions to protect the machine from any damage should there be a problem um, and it's a very inexpensive way to to do that. Now many years ago machine tool OEMs began to use what are called recirculating ball slides. Uh, these are very expensive, kind of cumbersome designs that um, have very, very low friction, uh, but they have to be constantly lubricated. And one of the things that we have found over the years is that in certain conditions, like if there's a crash on the machine or a piece of work falls on the table, it can actually peen some of the balls in those, in those ball slides. And that becomes a problem because now all of a sudden Every time you hit that flat spot on that ball, you lose tolerance on the machine part. The other thing about the recirculating ball slides uh, that we've heard from customers is they, that they don't dampen vibration very well. In fact, they accentuate vibration. Um, that's because you have nothing as a barrier against the harmonics that develop with all the moving parts all being very large pieces of metal. So the 142 is really there as a dampener material as well. Um, we have test reports that we've been able to generate in outside uh, laboratories that show very clearly um, how much better this material is at reducing the noise, the chatter, if you will, um, 
as a result of harmonics. So 142, very simple. Um, the, the very familiar blue-green material on one side, the also very familiar dark brown to black on the other side. This is the bonding surface. Uh, so this is the surface that you would put down on the substrate. Um, the OEMs and also rebuilders will use this material and the secondary part of this is after it's been bonded and cured in place, they'll have to go back and finish the, uh, uh, the treatment of it, which is usually either through hand scraping or machine scraping to develop all of the pocket reservoirs that are required to hold lubricant. And there's actually quite a science to scraping and it's becoming a lost art, but uh, the good machine manufacturers still do hand scraping and they do it very well. So 142 machine tools, XYZ slides, double X, double Y slides and multi-axis machines. Um, but that's not the only place we can use 142. It's also a very good material in other linear applications like uh, heavy machinery moving equipment where you've got uh, linear slides that are moving 10, 20, 30 feet. Um, bridge pads. We've, we've used 142 as bonded bridge pads uh, as expansion plates uh, with uh, people like BC Roads in Canada. Um, 142 is also very popular in the lumber equipment industry, especially in areas where they've got adjusting gibs or motor mounts where they need to be able to adjust very small increments uh, to keep blades in place, to keep slabbers slabbing and uh, doing all the things that the machines really designed to do. So a lot of different applications for 142. It's a very, very simple material to use. Uh, we have another video already online that uh, you can look at. It's uh, how do you bond 142 and other rulons. Uh, please take the time to check that out. And uh, you know, if you've never seen it in its uh, application, there's a couple of different ways that this material is bonded. Like I said, it, it can be applied just as a flat strip uh, in the bed. And you see here a, a picture of how that looks. Um, there's also dovetail slides where the material is, is actually bonded into the dovetail. And that just becomes, again, your primary bearing surface should there be a lubrication failure. Now while we're talking about linear slide materials, I also want to uh, tell you that uh, there are still some OEM manufacturers of machine tools that are using the Rulon LR. LR has been around a lot longer, in fact probably close to 50 years now, um, and the LR is a very good material. It's got very low deformation under load and it's uh, especially popular in thin materials like 20 thousandths thick materials. Um, but it is available like the 142 in many different thicknesses it does come treated for bonding. Uh, we also offer a, um, a special adhesive that's made specifically for bonding linear tape materials. Um, it's called CE211. Um, we have different versions of it. We have a fast cure version that will be fully cured in about four to five hours. The standard 211 is 24 hours cure. Uh, we add glass beads to the adhesive to help uh, produce a self-leveling um, adhesive line so that you've got a uniform three thousandths thick adhesive bead. Um, the material, the uh, adhesive is also a what's classified as a semi-rigid adhesive which means it takes a good impact without cracking and uh, because it's a 24-hour cure um, most of the manufacturers use the 24-hour cure and for that reason it tends to be less crystalline and will not uh, fracture as easily as some of your standard epoxies. So these are the materials that we, we work with, especially on linear applications. Again, 142, um, really designed for machine tools or other types of equipment where there's slides. Um, we also have Rulon J for more finite movements uh, because of the very low friction of the J. Um, it's used primarily on uh, more critical applications, things like optical lenses and uh, medical devices and things like that. So check it out on our website. Uh, we've got some blogs on the Rulon 142. Again, we've got the um, how to bond Rulons uh, on another video. So be sure and check those out and uh, visit us on our website anytime. If you have any questions 
on these materials, please uh, feel free to contact us through the Ask the Expert, and we'll be happy to work with you on your application. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on another Tech Talk.